Okay. It's playing right now. Okay. So this is this is the last. I'll double check the menu after this finish is playing, but this should be the last clip it played. Are you doing okay? No, I'm not actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, crazy series of events. So um, we're requesting that you and Ms. Gutierrez uh, conduct interviews back at the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office. Um, yeah. If, uh, and if an associate or okay, you tell me what to do. Um, we would appreciate that. And then we'll. When do you want me to do that? Uh, we're gonna probably go right now. So can I take my car? That's my car. Go back to the base camp, get rid of the wardrobe, get my clothes and stuff, and then I'll follow you? Yes. Um, I think, you? no, that's okay. Um, I think we might, I, I don't know if this is suspected blood or real blood. No, this is fake. Fake, okay. Yeah. Um, this is all theatrical. I'm going to talk, okay. I'm going to talk to our crime scene technician and, and see what she uh, suggests or would like. Um, In the interest of time. Okay. Photograph your clothes and then we'll get you down to the trailer and get you changed and on your way, sir. Can you hold them down just a little bit for me? Um, do you mind setting your phone down? So we're, uh, this is our crime scene tech. We're gonna document the clothes. We're gonna have him go change out, sure. take the clothes, and then he's gonna follow a deputy back to the sheriff's office and talk to them if he wants. And we'll go from there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we're in the, so we're filming at Bonanza Creek Ranch. Uh-huh. Uh, what is that, 25 or something? We were rehearsing in the church set. Sorry, I'm trying. It's okay, it was take a Very time. loud bang, and it felt like somebody kicked me in the shoulder, and then I was down on my ass, and then I looked over and see the cinematographer, Helena Hutchins, with blood coming out of her back. Holding a what? I'm sorry? With blood coming out of her back. Okay. She was between me and I think where the gun went off, and I think it went through her and into me. Okay. And are you an actor, sir, or are you a... I'm a writer and director of a movie. Okay, what's the movie? It's called Rust. Do you know anything about what's going on with her? Is she okay? I have no idea, sir. To be honest, I've been here the entire time. I remember the, ar the armorer handed the actor a gun. I don't know if she said it was cold or clean, but she handed him the gun, and then there was a bang that was a louder bang than I've heard come from a blank before. Okay. And then... Yeah. And uh, what kind of a, what did the gun look like? Like an old West six shooter. Okay. Like a Colt type. I don't know exactly what it was. But. And uh, what see what kind of scene was it? Uh, it was uh, a scene in the church where there was going to be a shootout among okay. the characters. Okay. And uh, usually the guns on set are they usually what, what kind of guns are, are used? I mean, they just they, it's they're a western, filled. so it's all the old West. Style. Okay. And usually they're filled with blanks, though. What they generally do, I, oh shoot, sorry, I believe is the armor will keep the gun, what they call clean or cold, mm -hmm. when they hand it over for rehearsal, meaning they show it to the actor, they show it to the first AD, and they say, they all agree that there are no rounds in it. And then uh, when the picture's up, 
it will have different size, different types of blanks, what they'll call a quarter load or a half load. And then the acquisitors walk through on where you're going to be some danger because blanks are still dangerous. But they tell me there's a bullet in you. Okay. So I don't. Now, where do you guys usually retrieve the guns from? I mean, are they. Are they... They're in the custody of the armorer, the movie's armorer. Okay. And do you know where they usually obtain those firearms from then? I don't know. No? Okay. 